Sorry, sorry, just remember, as in the reason how would you know that you are at getting to the point that your email leads mm -hmm. that circle of the stars or umbrella? What qualities are you defining yourself for? Uh, when you leave the circle of umbrella? The circle of Shafat, that when you uh -huh. should be in, in that position. Ha when you will know? If you, what would you find as a murid, what a murid should find in themselves that they're in that position, that that might be out of that? When you start thinking, when you start making plan B, when it's not all in. Sahabi Kiram did not make plan B. And those ones who wanted to enter into Mecca, that they were not happy with the Prophet ﷺ, we're not saying wrong things about Sahabi Kiram, but that is a human thing. It is, <sighs> their beloved ones, their houses, their this, their that, in Mecca. You understand? We left everything, no? That's why we are here. And then be careful. Then Allah will start giving you things. Some people say, Alhamdulillah, Allah gave me because I left everything. Really? So that's the point. You leave everything so Allah can give you? This is tasawuf. No, you leave everything. You come, at first you may say, ah, I'm hurting. After that you realize it's, you're so free from everything. And then when something is given to you, the believer is going to say, oh, oh, it's a burden. It's an imanat. It's a responsibility. I have to be careful. When he gives you happiness, I have to be careful with this happiness. I should not start worshipping this happiness too. Gives you children, don't worship. Gives you good things. Don't say, I deserve this because I've been good, so Allah gives me good things. What? What will we become? This is unbelievers, the way they talk. This is how they worship Allah. So believers are going to know this is a responsibility. And they're watching you. Okay, we give you this. We watch you. We give you another one. We watch you. You know, during Shaykh Afghanistan's time, always like nervous because Shaykh Afghanistan is always watching us. Like that. That's called taqwa. So how you know? You made plan B. When you say, I'm not all in, mm, I'm going to leave one win window, one door open, in case something happens, you know? And then you sit, and then something happens, and then you open that book, that file, plan B. Okay, I start making a little bit more plans here, just in case. Not that you're saying, wait, this is wrong. Plan B, this is wrong. It should not be like this. My plan A until Z is with my Shaykh. Dunya and Ahirat, that's my promise. If he takes the skin of my body, I will stay with him. The Murid is the one that goes through the grinder. Oh, so what, what are these for then? Just words that we say? Nice stories? Yeah, that's why I don't tell stories too much. It's a heavy responsibility. I'm invoking those things. So how do you know? Once you start, once you start having a plan B, you already make a certain separation. You're separating. You don't have a mission here anymore. You have a separate life. Nothing is wrong, nothing is bad. Maybe you don't, lo you don't have problems with people, but it's separate. That is opening the door to shaitan. Slowly, shaitan will say, look, why do you have to put up with this one? This one said this about you. Yeah, I don't like this. How about this one? How about this thing? How about this? 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 And then you start making fitna also. And then everything always... And the shaykh is there watching, helping, watching, fixing, watching, doing, watching, petting, watching, screaming, watching, watching, doing something. You don't want to change. That plan, the file gets thicker and thicker. And one day, 
because your soul, that, that um, connection is now very weak. That all it takes is one little thing that has nothing to do with nothing to just make everything to explode. But that one is going to say, he exploded, meaning me. I'm the cause. Refusing to see everything else, but say, if only he didn't explode me, I'm going to be fine. It's not fine. You have a whole thick file there. Your exit strategy. You have a whole thick file about everyone, and we have a file on you too. And you're not changing. Because once a person does that, shaitan is sitting on them and start whispering and telling them what to do. You'll find certain people, certain friends who also think the same way too. Yeah, this one, as if he knows so much. Yeah, you know how he is. That's that's that. that's that. Then you find friends who will be like-minded. If you can't, you'll manipulate for them to be. Am I saying something that is shocking to people or these things happen in life? You know what I'm talking about. It happens here. You ask me the question, I have to say. Believe me, there are so many times I don't want to say. I say, I don't want. People will be upset. <laughs> People will be angry. Say, he say, he say, he say. <sighs> I have to say, you see now. He said, stand firm. When that file becomes thicker, when you decide to leave, when you look at the share and you say, the share is wrong. He's wrong. He's not speaking for Huck. He's doing this because of this, because of this, because of this. Well, he made a mistake. Well, he should have done this. Well, didn't he know I'd do this? Oh. Now you lost your manners. Oh, oh, oh. That is the last straw now. Shaitan lost his manners. He didn't do anything. Shaitan did not do anything. He didn't destroy anything. He didn't make fitna. He didn't do anything. He just lost his manners. When that time when you lose your manners with your share, then that time Shaitan says, Aha, I got you. Now, take a look at my file. So many wrong things. You see, you are right. He is wrong. That's why all these wrong things happening, you see. Why is he doing this? Shaitan didn't do this. Why is he doing this? Shaitan didn't do this. Shaitan did this and he's not doing this. So everything. And then they will always constantly whisper to you. Constantly. The way that when you want to make zikr and you want Allah to constantly, Allah speaks to us, but we want to listen. When you want to constantly hear the voice of your shaykh or his inspiration, that time when shaitan is sitting constantly, he'll start feeding you things. That one will also know certain things. He may even know hidden things. And that will make him to become even more certain. Yes. We've seen this happening over and over again. We take lesson from it. And I'm mentioning it, and first I'm saying I take lesson for myself. And those who want. So that's when. The, how many so far Shaykh Afeni gave about doubt? Shaykh Afeni did not live 500 years ago, or 300 years ago. It's in our lifetime. And it's mutawatir. How many times he says, once you have that, and you don't get rid of it, you don't ask for help, it's done. If you ask for help, help will come very strongly to you. But be sincere, don't be fake asking for help, and then you become more shaitanic, <laughs> trying to hide things. You can't hide it. We can't hide One day is going to be out. Try to be sincere. Does that make sense to you? No? You have questions. Don't let that to turn into a doubt. 
Don't, that, don't let that doubt to turn into open rebellion. Understand what we are. Allah. It's like shaking the head. Like. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in Surah Yasin. We have created man from a drop of dirty blood. Dirty water. We have created man from a drop of dirty water. And what? And he turns around and declares himself an open enemy. Oh. Don't be enemies with your share. It's not good. We've seen that with during Sheriff and his time. So many they did. No good happened to them. They think they are better. Uh, so many, they even left Islam. They left hijab, they left everything. So, seek help. It's not enough to just make dua. Hmm? It's not enough, I'm saying it, because with a dua is granted. But if you are not seeking help, you close your heart, then that help is not going to reach to you. Saints can pray for you, it's not going to reach to you because you close your heart. That time, they will go into the maqams of the saints and they will be openly rebellious. I have people around me who are doing that. They're hiding things too. They're doing so many wrong things. I bring them to maqams. They think they are someone. They're I'm bringing them, I say, please help this one. They get very proud thinking I'm bringing them because they are high class something. But they don't know also, now this is the last straw. If you are not going to open your heart to get the help from Sher Vendi, then he will burn you in very unusual ways. And it's happened over and over again. Ah, um, that's all. As much is enough, I understand? So being Jamaat, first your Jamaat has to be with the Shaykh. Then to those ones who are good, who are running after him, don't be blind. Don't be blinded by your own personal feelings for someone, friendships for someone. Just don't be blind. Look beyond. We are not here to be blind and to be fooled. Eh? And that time... We'll be okay. Once you start removing yourself to be in Jamaat, it's not just physically here. Your heart has to be here. You have to care for. Uh, this is a thousand times I'm saying this, right? Care for each other. Laugh with each other. Hurt with each other. No, not just your family, each other. I saw a saying yesterday. I really like it. Someone posted it. It says, you can understand the value of a person when you see him helping someone who is of no use to him. People do everything for benefit, no? But that one is just helping a person that he's not expecting any benefit, is for no benefit. Knowing the person cannot help, but he's helping. You cannot be proud. Whether you're proud or angry is not according to what you think. You know, but people were angry, we say you're angry. I'm not angry. I say, you're proud. I'm not proud. So it is not according to you. If you look according to your eyes, then you'll start losing. You have to look with the nur of Allah. Then stick around. People are going to shine that nur like this. Look like this. Look like this. Look like this. Trust them. I'm not here to harm you. Believe me.
inshallah. Allah give us strength. Mm -hmm. So you do the right thing. Wa mm -hmm. min Allahu tawfiq al-fatiha. <laughs>